Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Today I'm doing the last of my base color series on my 10 by 10 canvases. And the last color I'm using is the Golden Fluid Acrylics Green Gold. So that is the last in my series. And I think this is number seven. seven. So the colors that I'm using today are Boysenberry Pigment by Color Art, Rouge by Master's Touch, Sunflower and Pixie Dust Color Art Pigment, Mandarin Blush and Gold Sparkle Pigment, uh, Dragon Fire and Hydrangea Color Art Pigment, Bordeaux Red Arteza, Orange Red and Pearl Papaya Arteza, Guatemalan Green and Mermaid Scales Pigment, Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics and Iris Petal Pigment by uh, Color Art, and Turquoise Blue by Amsterdam. So, I'm ready. I already have my base down. Um, it's just a 16 ounce cup of my white house paint that I get from Walmart Color Place. And all I did was add my fluid acrylic to it to get this color. There is nothing else in that cup. No silicone whatsoever. And it's just my plain house uh, paint base. Okay, so I'm gonna start my drizzle. And Phil can tell you the other uh, colors that were in the series. Yeah, so this uh, series of color, colored base paintings, um, number one was Prussian Blue Hue. Number two was Quinacridone Magenta. Number three was Dioxazine Purple. Number four was Pyrrol Orange. Number five was Hansa Yellow Medium. Number six was Turquoise. And this number seven again is Green Gold. And these are, uh, they'll all be in my Etsy shop. They're all gonna be for sale. Ooh, it gets dark in here all of a sudden. That is Boysenberry, the first one. I gotta get that big bubble out of there though. Okay, my second color I'm using is Rouge by Master's Touch. And these uh, paint recipes are in number 248, how I do these. No, that is incorrect. Oh, I thought your, it was. No, your recipes are in video 197. Right. And your special color art pigment recipes are in video 248. And that's what this is. Number 248 is the pigment and the paint. They go together. Because mm -hmm. a lot of these are pigments. This I one stand is the corrected. Sun. As usual, I give bad information. You don't give bad information, you just get confused sometimes. Which, I mean, it can be confusing. I mean, I do a lot of different stuff, so I mean, it I'm, can be confusing. I'm sure I confused all the people that are watching. So I will put some information on the screen for each of Kathy's different recipe videos. That one was the Mandarin Blush and the Gold Sparkle. Now we're coming up to the Dragonfire and the Hydrangea. Hope everybody's having a good day. We're having a good day. So far. So far, so good. And thank you for subscribing to our channel. If you haven't, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you join our family. We do a lot of different things on this channel. We bicker. <laughs> we laugh together. We scream together. We go, oh, wow. 
I mean, you never know. I correct Phil, he corrects me, and it just goes in one ear and out the other. I mean, after you're married this long to somebody, psh, ah, nothing really matters. Okay, so we're up to the orange red and the pearl papaya. And make sure you bring your paints out to your edges. Yes, I know that you lose it, but you won't get color if you don't do that. But if you don't want color, that's fine too. Okay. Ah, next is my Guatemalan green and my mermaid scales. Are those pigments? These are pigments. Oh, okay, so there's, those are color art pigments. Correct. Okay. Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art, NKS Resin, and Arteza. So there are some savings that you can get if you need some supplies. There are links in the description box for you to order any supplies you may need and save some money. And Phil makes sure that's in every video that we do, the links. He's my go-to man for links and videos and producing. He does all this. I don't do any of this. So when he says, oh, how do you, how do you think I should do this? It's like, I have no clue whatsoever. I do have, there is a playlist for these color-based drizzle pours. As I, there is seven of these drizzle pours that will be in that playlist. And so it's a great way to kind of see all the different colors Kathy used and how they turned out. Yeah, this last one is uh, Turquoise by Amsterdam. The last one before that was Dioxazine Purple and Iris Petal Pigment. Okay, so we got that done. The drizzle is done. Now we're on to the swipe. There's the mishmash. And that is a mishmash. Okay, we're gonna, oops. Gonna use our cards. Queen of Diamonds, coming up, baby. There's your cell activator, using simple Black. playing cards. And then swiping. And that's Ooh, what we're trying to achieve, yes. Lots of different colored cells. What is that? Jeez. Okay. We're going to turn her face down now. We just got her in the big blob. Ooh, pretty, 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 pretty. That's what you want to get. You want to get a lot of cells with a lot of colors. That's what we're looking for. It's exactly what we're looking for. And on these colored bases, it's really neat because uh, the color of the base kind of gives a tint, an overall tint to the final painting, which is really cool. It is very cool. It is very cool. And as you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm doing this very, very lightly. You don't want to hit your base color. I mean, if you do, it's, it's not the end of the world. Well, but you tr you it's want not to try the end not of the world, to. But it, it, it you don't can want to spoil that area if you're right. not careful. Right. You don't really want to hit that if you don't have to. Oh, I'm using a new card. It's called the Poker Hand Ratings. <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't seen that one. I should have kept that because I'm not too good at poker. Oh wow. This is gonna be really pretty. Really colorful. Very, very pretty. Oh, wowie. Yeah, this is... Ooh. That cell activator is doing its thing. It's making its magic. It's magical. It's having a magical day. Ah. Oh, 
Oh, wow. I love it when all of a sudden it just pops up, don't you? Yeah, it is. It's so it cool. It's pretty neat the way it... All of a sudden it just pops reacts up. ...reacts with the paint. It's really, really cool. I don't want to get that on me. Okay. Queen of Clubs coming up. Here it comes. Wow, there's some pop, beautiful pop, 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 pop. cells popping up. Beautiful. And the reason for the drizzle is to get all the different colored paints all over the canvas. And that's what creates all these different colored cells. Wow. Wow. If I say wow a lot, it's because it is wow. <laughs> I mean, it is a wowzer. No matter how many times you do this, it's still fun, though. It is. See it happen. I never get sick of seeing what pops up. There's a... Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm turning it. Okay. I got to get this over here too. Yeah, I never now, get sick. Certain little areas that Kathy wants to add cell activator to, where there isn't as many cells as she'd like, so she just takes a smaller piece of card and goes over it, so you can. As long as you do it lightly, you can go over the same place uh, another time. Yep, even a couple so times if you want. Goes and repairs that, okay. And see how that repaired that and bringing up cells. See, this is what I mean on your edges. See all the color that it brought up? That's what you want to bring up uh -huh. on your edges. Well, that's where the drizzle is important, to Correct. drizzle to the edges. Correct. Because if you don't, you're not going to get colored cells all the way to the edges. Now, we realize that when we spin this, some of, you're going to lose some of that, but it's still important to get it all the way to the edges, if that's what you want. If you want cells all the way to the edges, you need to drizzle all the way to the edges. And that's what I want. I want cells all over. So, oh wow, this is going to be cool. I can already see it happening. Oh wow, oh, oh, I'm getting excited people. <laughs> oh my gosh. How can I get so excited over just a little painting, right? <laughs> so Kathy always puts the excess cell activator back in the cup because you want it fresh and, and cover it as soon as you're done with it, so it stays fresh. And I have gotten some comments. People uh, ask me to use other uh, color cell activators. I have used other color cell activators. We have videos of them. But for my series, I'm strictly keeping it all with the black activator because I want it to all be the same in the series. But you can use any color that you want. My go-to is black because I think it really makes the colors pop. As you can see, they're popping already. So, now we're on to the wrecking. Now you have your wrecking stick, which is simply a pointy stick. There it's it like is. a skewer that you put yeah. shrimp on. Okay. And we're going to wreck this little puppy and see what happens. Okay. Oh, pretty. Oh, pretty, pretty. Oh, See how it makes sort of flowery lines through there. That's what you're looking for. Wispy. Maybe maybe that's a good word for them. Wispy lines. Wispy. Peacock. That looks like a peacock mm -hmm. in there. It's just a little bit wispy. And Kathy cleans the wrecking stick every time after she uses it because you don't want to have any excess paint on there. Yeah, you don't want to drip through. it. Yeah, you don't want to drip it on there. Okay. okay, that's it. Way cool. We're on to the fun part. 
these are all fun parts I mean this is absolutely so much fun if you have questions about this uh, technique please comment to me I will help you and um, try it because it's fun and we are in a puppy pool a little baby puppy pool and a cake spinner they do not make this cake spinner that I have anymore but anyone that you get off Amazon is going to work and I have a video that shows how Kathy set up her puppy pool and cake spinner you ready we're ready for the spin I'm curious to see this color come up underneath it yes because it's really a pretty color it is oh oh Ooh. baby 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 what oh. more can I say <laughs> it's stunning it is stunning it just looks like stained glass I mean it's absolutely incredibly beautiful and it's dark in this room it's a shame it's do not you want sure. me to go I don't know oh I can't I can't I, I don't think it needs to be I can't because it, it's beautiful it is beautiful the colors are just absolutely incredibly amazing please everyone try this technique um my my drizzle and my swipe and my wreck and my spin is please try it and show me your pictures show me your creations I'd love to see them I've seen some of uh, the people do this they're amazing and they go oh my gosh it's so much fun it is it's so much fun so please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already if you have thank you thank you thank you very much and thank you for for joining us today and um, I hope everybody has a great day and a weekend and um, go to my Etsy shop because it'll be in these will be in there my series will be in there so got anything else to say Phil well yeah I just want to show remember this was the base color here that she uh, put on there and as you can see you get tinges of it through and when this dries actually it'll be, have an overall uh, more of an overall effect on the whole canvas which and we'll be showing them when they're dry yeah because you can see it on this side yeah. that is the green gold and it, it's really pretty so until the next time everybody I hope you enjoyed my series it's the end of my series oh boo-hoo but you never know what we're going to do next so until the next time stay well and have fun and go and paint a drizzle and a swipe and a wreck and a pour I mean not a pour a spin a <laughs> so have fun bye